coarctation of the aorta. What's coarctation? Coarctation is basically narrowing. So we have two types of coarctation. We have the infantile form and the adult form. For case, just for making things simple, we will call the infantile form the pediatric form. All right. So in the pediatric form, the P, the coarctation or the narrowing will occur prior P, prior to the ductus. So let's draw it. So the aorta will narrow here before the ductus. So the aorta will become narrower. Okay. So what happened is this blood which is oxygenated will go to the three main branches, the three branches of the aortic arch, to the upper extremity and the upper half of the body. However, since the pediatric form also is associated with PDA, a patent open ductus arteriosus, so with Eisenmenger syndrome, here blood which is deoxygenated will go through the aorta, and the lower half of the body will suffer from cyanosis. You will have lower extremity cyanosis with the pediatric form. Okay, so we have pediatric form. The coarctation is prior to the ductus and associated with a patent ductus arteriosus, i.e. the ductus arteriosus is open in the pediatric form. Okay, what about the adult form? The adult form and the coarctation will occur after the ductus. So let's draw it. It's after the ductus, like here. So the coarctation will occur here. And there is no PDA, means the ductus arteries is occluded. All right. Okay. So we'll not have the problem of this lower extremity cyanosis. However, there is another problem. When the ordinary is here, okay, you'll have more blood going to the upper half of the body and less blood going to the lower half of the body, okay? So, you'll have hypertension in the upper extremity, in the upper half of the body, and hypotension in the lower half of the body. So, the radial pulse and the femoral pulse may not be equal. You may find the radial pulse stronger than the femoral pulse. Also, you may have, if you have like the blood pressure cuff on the arm of the patient, you will have like kind of high blood pressure. However, if you apply it to the leg of the patient and measure the blood pressure, it will be of a lower value. So this is important. And also with the adult form, some like kind of anastomosis will occur around the intercostal vessels leading to rib notches which are prominent on x-ray the ribs will be notched like this keep in mind the adult form is also associated with bicuspid aortic valve normally the aortic valve has three cusps but the adult may only have two cusps called bicuspid aortic valve and this is not fun so infantile and adult infantile or the pediatric prior to the ductus the coarctation is prior to the ductus and it's associated with, with a patent ductus arteriosus while the adult form the coarctation occurs after the ductus and there is no pda the problem with the pediatric form is lower extremity cyanosis with the adult form is discrepancy in the blood pressure, hypertension in the upper half, and hypotension in the lower half. See you next video. Please subscribe.